Hello. Today I'm making baked hake on a puree of toasted almonds, red pepper, and parmesan, accompanied by spinach, and a green bean rosé wine risotto. Now, before you begin, it's very important to remember to wash your feet and drink plenty of alcohol. First off, we have basmati rice. It's been soaking in cold water for about half an hour. Normally I prefer five hours, but today I was pressed for time. Then we have some fresh spinach. And some green beans. Now, parmesan, red pepper, and almonds. One onion, and a head of garlic, although we'll probably only use one clove. Finally, some fresh hake fillets with the skin on. It's very important to have the right attire when you're cooking. I personally prefer to wear a cravat. Uh, sometimes plus fours are very useful, I think. So, let's clear the decks and get the old chopping board ready. Now it's time to speed this up, uh, not to make this completely tedious. Uh, you can do this with natural adrenaline or video editing, or with speed or cocaine, if that happens to be your cup of tea. First I'm uh, just uh, separating off the parmesan I want, chopping off the bit of pepper I want, and just chopping it roughly to get ready to blend. I'm going to toast the almonds, and keep turning the uh, almonds to make sure that they don't burn on one side. Roughly dropping the pepper. And it's time for the dentist. Bit of parmesan. And some more Kenny G. Make a little mess, and then clear it up. Sounds a bit like chipmunks having sex. Now to prep the onions. I'm going to chop them roughly up, and then a little bit finer. And just stick them on a plate ready to go. Now for the garlic. I'm going to use two cloves here. And green beans, top and tail. Or just top, actually. Right, now let's start with the spinach. I'm going to get that out of the way so I can use the pot again. I've got some nutmeg here as well. Adding in some of the onions and the garlic. Sauteing that. Adding in the spinach. Just gently cooking away. Some of the nutmeg, some black pepper, and into another pan so that we can use the big one again. Adding in the second lot of onions. This is for the rice. Just in some olive oil, quietly cooking away there. Now I'm going to throw in the strained, rinsed, and cleaned rice. Fry that in the oil for a little bit. Then immediately add in the wine. I'm going to throw the green beans in. This is mainly due to laziness. 
as I didn't want to use another pot for them, and I felt it might be nice just to have them in there. I'm going to score the skin of the fish. Now, full frying station ready. Spinach, I've taken off the heat just to keep it there. Some more dentistry. A bit of oil, some butter. Fry the hell out of the skin side. I'll turn it over there, you can see it's nicely colored and showing the score marks. Now I've stuck the fish in the oven, just to finish up the baking there. Put the spinach back on, and the rice is pretty much ready. Our strange puree is pretty much ready. Take the fish out, turn it and put it back into the oven again. So, I'm taking the rice off the heat, it's now ready. And then take everything and throw it onto the plate.